All right, everybody. So I'm here. It's a weekend. Getting some stuff done on my motorhome. I am this close. This close to being done. Let's show you what we got going on this last project. So I've decided to put that Intellitech lighting in here for the multiplex. So I've actually run a wire all the way from the back corner here where my inverter is. Kick on the factory light that's in here so you can see, plus the light I got going. So here it is. It's this two gauge red wire right here. So this runs from back here it's going to get a fuse installed in here or in here. I haven't quite decided yet. It runs through this hole, in through the engine compartment, and then right in this area, it runs. You can kind of see where all that silicone smeared all over that wall for me, getting the hole sealed back up. But up there in that top corner, you can kind of see that orange wire sticking out of the loom there. It goes along there and then makes its way through these bays. You don't see it again here, zip tied up in there. And then it makes its way all the way along until you get to the fuel tank here and then across the top. Can't see it here because it's zip tied up on the other sides of those looms. And it makes its way around the front into the center and then comes up through this hole in the floor right here. Makes its way across into that stud right there. And that's where it'll get distributed to power these two amps because previously they were powered off the chassis power. So when I was dry camping, I could be running my chassis batteries dead. So this will fix that problem and then it'll power up that Intellitech output board there now i'm going to actually I think install another board right here for some other components but wanted to give you a quick intro now running that wire like that through those bays is not easy but it's way better than running it under the coach and then where i went through those styrofoam blocking i actually sealed the hoo-ha out of it with a bunch of silicone so that way uh Hopefully don't have any uh, vermins coming up through those holes. If they can smell any sort of different air, they make their way to it. Uh, the previous owner had installed some turbo wiring in there and a turbo pressure gauge hose and hadn't sealed that either. So that all got sealed up at this time. So everything's getting dialed in. I'll uh, give you some more footage of the inside and uh, this Intellitech lighting system going. So let me get a finishing this project up but that dirty painless part is done running that wire all right a couple days later finishing up this video all the wires are ran from the very rear to the very front so we'll start up here in the front so you've got the Intellitech output processor module and that's what's going to run everything that's in this keypad this here is gonna run my entry step. And then these are so you can actually use just a plain switch and run it in and do one of these particular ones without having a 10 key. That's the central processor for right now. I'm doing this elementary, but the big processor for like the Magnus Intrigues is in here for when I take it to the next stage. But for right now, I've just got this keypad here, runs the rope lights, Turns on and off the bay lights, runs the ceiling lights, the lower moods, the entry step, and the curb lights. I don't have the entry step wired in yet, and then, of course, the porch light. And then if I want to turn it all off, I just press and hold the all off button, and everything turns off. Okay. <clears throat> What's nice about this system is the three wires of communication that I ran to the rear, I grabbed midway. And then I've got this keypad in my bay here. So I can actually turn on and off my bay lights, my ceiling lights, 
and even my curb lights and my porch light all from out here now that wasn't factory in any of the country coach products they would not have put a keypad in the bay but that network runs throughout the whole coach so anywhere that you can grab the three wires that are the network which are in this case are going to be the black the blue and the red just like country coach used which makes its way all the way back here you can grab it now that plug there is to run it up into here and do my nightstand and so on and so forth i do have spares back here that i ran from the very front to the back one of them is going to be for the new boogie lights working on becoming a dealer for them going to do some boogie lights under this thing step up the led game and then these are my spares that run from the dash to my galley and then my closet in my bedroom now i'm going to use some of those to run back to turn on and off switch locations but for right now i'm done with the intellitech i just want to get out and use this thing so there's a quick summary on the intellitech lighting comment below if you have any other questions or anything you want me to go over on intellitech or multiplex lighting and uh hit that like button don't forget to subscribe but everybody hope you're all having a great day thanks again until next time we are going to get a complete tour of this thing all done right after this video so thanks everybody until next time bye bye